Welcome to Faculty Lounge, where we explore emerging and innovative insights for the K-12 classroom in five minutes or less. I'm Andrew Potter, the Vice President for Education at Envision, one of the nation's leading educational organizations dedicated to the college and career success of every student. Today, we want to explore one of the hot topics in education, student engagement, and specifically look at how you can design cognitive engagement for your classroom. Cognitive engagement is simply occurring when students engage in higher order thinking in order to develop a depth of understanding. In order to have students cognitively engaged, they must be creating and they must be thinking in a critical fashion. In other words, they need to be applying skills like analysis, problem solving, synthesis, and intellectual openness. So where is cognitive engagement the highest? Arguably one of the most important studies done in the last 10 to 15 years was a study done by the scholar Yair. He looked at six major instructional designs or instructional methods that were being used in the K-12 classroom, and this is what he found. Not surprisingly, as we might expect, the bottom two, or where cognitive engagement was lowest, involved teacher lecture and classroom discussions. And probably not surprising as well, hands-on work or group work when students could collaborate together came in as the number one and the number two instructional methods in which cognitive engagement was the highest. Also not surprising, retention rates also change based upon the instructional design. Where students can teach others, where students can actually practice by doing, or where students can collaborate in groups, those three instructional methods in particular yield much higher retention rates. These are referenced from the Warren study, though while a bit dated, even in more recent studies conducted by, for example, the Canadian Education Association, as well as the National High School Survey of Student Engagement, are finding similar results. Two things that the research points out that are critical for cognitive engagement, relevance and challenge. You'll note here that specifically in terms of relevance, uh, relevance alone can increase engagement by over 100%, whereas challenge, though sometimes dismissed in some classrooms, actually increases engagement by 90% or more. So relevance and challenge were two of the most important lesson design strategies linked to student cognitive engagement. How can you do this by design in your classroom? These are just four examples, bringing in problem-based learning, project-based learning, demonstrations that students provide or allowing students to self-assess. All of these are research proven methods which can drive up cognitive engagement in your classroom. Thank you for spending time with us today in the faculty lounge. Please join us in our quest to ensure that every student is college and career ready. You can find additional resources and more information at www.envisionexperience.com backslash for educators. Thank you.